There was once a Korean model and singer by the name of Hang Myoku. Her career was going great, but she was unhappy with her appearance. Although she was already stunning, Hang didn't see it herself. She wanted to be more beautiful in her eyes. At the age of 28, she was exposed to her first plastic surgery procedure in Korea. She had gotten silicone injections and she loved the appearance of the rounder, plumper look and suddenly became obsessed with it. So much so that she moved to Japan to get more silicone fillers. Even though her face was becoming heavier and wider, Hang was addicted because her goal was to obtain the smoothest skin possible compared to everybody else. It's not clear if she was addicted to the look and thought more injections would make her more beautiful, or if she was constantly critiquing her look, causing her to go back again and again for revisions and improvements. What is known is that she was continuously going back and forth to various plastic surgeons for more facial silicone injections. There was a point in time that she was visiting doctors so frequently that even the professionals began to refuse to do any further work on her face. This did not stop Hang from getting her dose of injections. She scoured the black market and got a hold of silicone injections, spending every last bit of her money on them as they were very expensive. She injected an entire bottle of silicone into her face. Unsurprisingly, she was not able to afford any more injections and was still very unsatisfied with her face. She then took matters into her own hands and did the unthinkable, which would, unbeknownst to her, cause her to make global headlines. She grabbed a bottle of cooking oil and prepared to self-inject it in her face. The aftermath of this DIY plastic surgery was nothing short of horrendous. It not only left her face severely swollen, but also left various scars. Her face became so large that children in the neighborhood started to mock her and call her a standing fan due to how disproportionate her head had gotten compared to her body. The most horrific part about this was that the disfigurement was permanent. Her face was so unrecognizable that even her own parents could not recognize her. Her story subsequently became viral and many people sympathized with her and gave her donations to fix the damage. In order to minimize the extreme physical damage, she underwent dozens of operations. Her first procedure worked in removing a total of 60 grams of foreign substances just from her face alone. A separate procedure was then used to remove a whopping 200 grams from her neck area. While these procedures did significantly decrease the size of her face, the scars and damage remained and appeared even more prominent. Even dozens of procedures could not get her back to her old face. It was noted that Hank's obsession was derived from a long-term psychological disorder, including depression and anxiety. To this day, she deeply regrets destroying her face and still struggles with her obsessions to change her appearance. This permanent disfigurement caused her to abandon her modeling and singing career. It was reported that in her 50s, she now works at a recycled clothing shop, ironically called the beautiful shop. What do you guys think about this case? I feel very sad for Hang because she's an example of how psychological disorders can control us in ways we can't imagine. Obsessions are a whole beast on their own and can seriously interfere with one's day-to-day -day life. We can only imagine the mental torture Hang faced and still faces given her lengthy history of plastic surgery and her continuous disapproval of her appearance. In today's society, changing one's appearance through invasive and non-invasive procedures is becoming quite normalized. And yes, while everyone has a right to make their own decisions on what they want to do with their bodies, the point I want to make in this video is that there is quite a distinction between what we think we want versus what we actually want. Let that sink in. With the technology we have today, people are constantly comparing themselves to everyone around them and want things that, in reality, are quite unachievable due to the gross disparity of what they see on an app versus what they actually see in real life. In many cases, as soon as they get the thing that they think they want, they are once more unsatisfied, further emphasizing my point regarding the illusion of what we desire. Hank's case is a significant reminder that highlights this epidemic. I look forward to reading your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. 
And please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more interesting content.